and I are out here at Nassau Bay enjoying the view and the weather out here. And with us today is Bob Stokes, who's the executive director of the Galveston Bay Foundation, and also Emily Demick, who is an organizer out there. Now, first, Bob, I know that we've got an oyster restoration benefit coming up. What What's the deal with the oyster restoration? Okay, so we've been working on oyster restoration since Hurricane Ike. Uh, actually, the Galveston Bay Foundation have been doing some oyster restoration in the past. Uh, we're putting more and more emphasis on, it, emphasis on it now because of the damage that happened to all the oyster reefs in Galveston Bay. Over 50% of the oyster reefs in Galveston Bay were destroyed by siltation that covered them up and kind of smothered them. And so we're working to do uh, oyster restoration along the shore of San Leon and Bay Cliff and Kima to try to restore some of the reefs that were there historically. Uh, we're working with the local citizens uh, to do uh, what we call oyster gardening where we give them bags of oyster shells, they hang it off their piers, and then the little tiny oysters, uh, babies, which are called spat, attach to those shells, they grow in those shells, and then we collect them all and ultimately place it into a new oyster reef. It's oyster nurseries. It is like oyster nurseries, <laughs> and it's really neat because we get to work with the local citizens and kind of tell them about oysters, tell them how important the oyster reefs are to Galveston Bay. Did you know that one little oyster can filter 50 gallons of water a day? I knew that they were good for our water. Yeah, exactly. So they really play an important role in water quality in Galveston Bay. So when you lose 50% of the reefs out there, it's a pretty significant hit to Galveston Bay. We want to make sure we work on uh, restoring those reefs and, and getting them back. And what we've done is we've gone out and got some grant funding, some federal grant funding, about $60,000. Uh, but the, the thing about that grant funding is when you get the money from the feds like that, they require a match. And generally it's a one-to-one -one match. So we now have to go out and raise about $60,000. So Emily has put together this oyster restoration benefit for us, and it's an opportunity to have a party, and she'll tell you about it. But the idea is to match the federal money we have in, in hand at this point. Okay, yes. you have a big job in front of you, but it's going to be fun, so tell me about it. It's going to be great. It's Saturday, April 24th, doors open at 6. It's down at the 18th Street Pier Bar and Grill down in San Leon. Uh, $10 gets you in the door, and all that money is going to go straight to our projects. Cool, and we, we've I hear got three it. bands. Yeah. We've got lots of bands coming out. One of them is Kicking Clouds, um, and we've also got a raffle. We've got tons of prizes coming in, so it's going to be awesome. So we hope everybody comes out. Everyone's invited. Come out and eat some oysters and yes. help the oyster restoration. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. We're looking forward. It's going to be it's going to be a really fun event, and uh, you know, people understand what they're supporting. I think they'll be out uh, in, in big big numbers to help us do this. Great. And they can call me to get involved, Emily, 281-332-3381, extension 213. And the Galveston Bay um, Foundation website, www.galvbay.org. Thanks, guys. Thank